Hey guys, it's Corey with Charleston SC Fishing. Um, I'm super excited to get up out on the water again. A bunch of stuff going off. Just casting out a bunch of uh, uh, finger mullet. Threw one out in the water under one of these dock lights and uh, pull up this 19 inch flounder. This is any indication of things to come. I'm super pumped and excited about this morning. So let's get out there in the water and see what the morning brings. So that's where some oysters are right off that point. I'm gonna stand up. I'm likely to get hit right here. Again, though. All right, I just heard a trout in the background blow up. I'm gonna get there if I'm hearing that sound. <sighs> just spooked one right in front of me. I know you guys saw that. I might have charged in here a little too quick. All right. All right, there's some feeding on finger mullet. Jeez. Messing with my seat. Send it back. Do the limbo. Oh, that's not something I really want to deal with. I noticed a big difference of just like sort of like pinfish pecking at it whenever I put this on. If they're interested, the other fish are definitely going to be interested too. There's a fish. Oh, it came off. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> if you were going to walk a flat river that goes into it where these fish can feel comfortable falling back off of the flat and into the deeper water, this has a beautiful channel that goes right up into the flat. So here I've got some live shrimp. I'm going to put on my jig head. Big flounder or anything right here on these pilings. A live shrimp here. Got a fish on right now. There it is. Flounder. All right. Guys, going here. Got him going again. Guys, that's another flounder. There it is. Right. Flounder number two. Another small one, but that's another flounder. Loving these live shrimp. So those last couple bites, they've just, it almost feels like I have a snag and it just feels soft. So those flounder just grab it and they just kind of hold onto it a little bit. And you can pull up with your rod tip and you can kind of feel it. And that's their, their head lifting up off the bottom. They're holding onto it. Let them hold it for a long time because maybe they're just holding the tail, not your hook. And then eventually they'll eat the whole thing. Because I just don't have the patience for that. But I think that's what you should be doing. Live shrimp. Right now the tide is coming this way. So I'm just, I'm casting out here. And I'm just letting the tide, the current, bring me up under the dock a little bit. Up under the pilings. So I found that these flounder really relate to structure. Um, the pilings but in, in oyster mounds. But uh, another thing that they really relate to is crab traps. They seem to hang out just outside crab traps. So you kind of have to play a game of snagging the crab trap or catching the flounder. I've got a fish on right now. I'm gonna just let it hold it right now. Let it eat it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna set the hook. All right, I got it. Feels like another flounder. There it is. 
That's number three. As maybe we'll upgrade here pretty soon, hopefully. Number three in a short amount of time, just using that live shrimp. I know he's not a big one, but uh, it's been pretty active. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit and throw something a little bit bigger today. The S waiver. I've switched out the hooks to some stickier ones. In doing so, it, it floats a little more and is kind of more of a wake bait than it traditionally is. So it should give us a good show if something smashes it. I've got a redfish right underneath me. I'm going to see if he's going to eat this huge swim bait. Here he goes. There's a fish. I just heard a grunt. That's really funny. Oh! <laughs> you guys see that? That redfish just hit this big swim bait. Ah, oh, unreal. S waiver 168 just got smashed. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm just trying to piece together a little bit. My camera ended up going out on the first half there. So I went out on the dock a couple days later and I caught some more fish. Towards the end there, I wanted to do something really different. Um, so I started throwing a larger swim bait. That's an S waiver 168, really light trout. I just wanted to see if I could catch a fish on it, if they would even hit it. Um, ideally, I'd like to see if I can catch some big sea trout on it. But I have a lot of luck throwing that thing in bass fishing. Hope you enjoyed watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks again.